Greetings dear viewers and welcome to my overview of the mechanized company in Company of Heroes 2. This is not a review, it is a demonstration of a commander and my opinion on it. I have to thank We Meet for his contribution. We were playing Company of Heroes 2 and he asked me if I wanted to try out the mechanized commander for the United States forces. I said sure, thinking it was just a question. To my surprise he sent me the mechanized company commander as a gift with a message saying, here Seth, try him out, smiley face. So you could say we meet sponsored this. Thanks again! Now on to the commander. This commander offers some interesting starting and middle game options, some of them having their uses in the late game. At zero command points you can call in a WC-51 military truck with a 50 caliber machine gun. It costs 240 manpower and 20 fuel. Since you start with 15 fuel, you will need to wait a bit before you call it in. The truck itself has good range, good damage, good mobility and can transport one squad. The squad can fire from the truck, so units with bazookas, bars and flamethrowers will be a potent combination, especially against targets with no anti-tank weapons, such as pioneers and heavy machine gun teams. It is advised to put a squad inside because the truck on its own won't survive against grenadiers, panzer grenadiers and Obergesoldaten. It has reasonable durability and its speed enables you to capture sectors faster, as the crew can disembark. The only complaint I have is the fuel price. 20 is too much for a better jeep, 15 is more reasonable. With two command points you can withdraw and refit vehicles. The vehicle you select with this ability will move outside the map and 75% of the resources that were spent on it will return to you. This ability is exceptionally useful for two reasons. One, you can redraw light vehicles that have little to no use in late game when heavy armor arrives while also retrieving the resources. Two, when you redraw a vehicle, you free your population cap without sending the unit to get destroyed for nothing. That way you can bring in more units. One thing to note is that the vehicle also takes the crew away. So if you have an experienced crew, Disembark them from the vehicle and put in an inexperienced and cheap unit and then redraw it. You can call in an M3 half track assault group at 3 command points. It costs 520 manpower and 35 fuel. It comes with an M3 half track and an assault engineer squad. The half track can transport two squads, which can fire from the half track, thus providing it with more firepower. The half track can also reinforce infantry squads something that only the ambulance could do and only in allied sectors. This one can reinforce even in neutral or enemy sectors. The assault engineers can be upgraded with flamethrowers, making them effective at garrison cleaning. They can also repair the half-track and other vehicles, place mines, construct munitions and fuel depots and place demolition charges, which can be triggered at your command. This really adds to the mobility of the American army enabling fast captures and self-reliance of a small force. I would complain again about the cost. 35 fuel is reasonable for the half track, but 520 manpower is stretching it. 450 manpower, tops, but that is just my opinion. Moving on to 4 command points, we get a recon sweep. This ability will provide an air recon pass, showing you the desired area of the map. It costs 60 munitions, you can choose the direction in which it will go and it shows a good part of the map. I would lower the cost to 50 munitions, but it is fine as it is. At 8 command points you can call in a 155mm artillery barrage. It costs 180 munitions and can only be fired in areas that are not in the fog of war. There are several positive things about this ability. It drops shells relatively fast, it has good damage and a decent amount of shells that are dropped. It should be used against infantry and vehicles, especially if they're pinned and slowed down. However, I found it does a good job at destroying buildings, provided each of the shells drops on the target. I would lower the price to 160, as it isn't the strongest artillery barrage in the game, but just as the recon sweep, it is fine as it is. Overall, this commander is good. While the WC-51 military truck and M3 half-truck lose their use in the late game, the other abilities do give you some useful tactical options. 
The redraw and refit will give you resources and more free space to wield more units, while the recon pass and artillery barrage go hand in hand when taking out blobs of infantry or garrisoned buildings. If you want a commander that gives you the mobility and flexibility you so desire for the United States forces, then this is the guy I can recommend for you. With that, I end my overview of the mechanized company commander. Thank you all for watching and thank you we meet for your donation. You indirectly oblige me to make this video. Have a pleasant day, people.